you know, I've been paramedic for six years now and it's just crazy how, you know, things that you would have never thought you've done in your career, like just, you know, not even, not even going into someone's house to assess them. It's if someone calls them on you, you're doing a doorway screen now from six feet away before you even go in the house. Telling people to, to stay inside and, and completely disrupting their daily lives. It's, you know, mental health is going to be a, a huge ripple effect that, that comes out of this. And especially too, um, you know, emergency rooms are going to struggle to deal with, you know, psychiatric issues because we're telling people to not go to the hospital and people who normally would go out to seek help are now afraid to go into this environment. Right. And I was embarrassed and ashamed to think that I could have PTSD because I didn't think I suffered enough trauma to, to have that. So what I always try to tell people, you know, through the book, or I do a lot of public speaking now, is that, you know, just because you think that someone's gone through something worse than you have, it doesn't devalue the, you know, the trauma or the stress that you've had. And I right. think that we're going to see that a lot with coronavirus, where, you know, you know, people, people's lives are being upended. And, and it's okay to be upset and angry. And, and, you know, I think that, you know, with mental health in general, whether it's, you know, you, you've been struggling with mental health or now because of COVID, you're starting to feel a little down because you're trapped inside your house. You know, it, it, it's okay to, to share those feelings with people. One of the worst things that we do with mental health is, is there's this huge stigma around it that, you know, we don't talk about it. And I think that we really need to open that dialogue a bit more 